Hey everyone, I thought I'd uh, show off my 120,000 volt hex ray transformer. Uh, I started building this thing about a year and a half ago to run a nitrogen dioxide generator which uses a really hot high voltage arc to react nitrogen and oxygen in the air to form nitric oxide which then converts to nitrogen dioxide. Um, uh, I built it out of mostly custom parts. The box is custom made, welded together. The insulators are some antiques I found on eBay. And the transformer itself is an antique I found on eBay. Uh, pretty powerful, but it couldn't quite meet the demands that my NO2 generator required. It's just too power intensive. So. I'll have to find another use for it. There are plenty of uses for things like this. Ozone generation, Farnsworth fusers to fuse hydrogen into helium. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I had an idea for splitting ionic compounds, salts, into their constituent elements using an electric field overcoming the lattice energy. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, basically electrolysis without water. Uh, it's a 1 to 1000 step up transformer so 120 volts out of the mains goes in the primary. 120,000 volts comes out the secondary. It's all immersed in mineral oil. Uh, it's under, well I put it under a vacuum. It's not it's not vacuum tight. It won't hold a vacuum. Uh, but I, I put it under about three inches of vacuum for about five minutes. That got all the air out of the windings. Uh, it's, cru it's a crucial step in building one of these. If there's any air on the windings, it'll arc through it, which isn't good. It'll burn the oil. The arc gap is set to five inches, which is about 120 kV in air. And uh, I have some little electrode tips on there so I can adjust the... Uh, the voltage you hear rotate them inward and lower the voltage and rotate them outward and increase it and it has arc safeties so if it exceeds 120 kV it will arc to ground it won't go open circuit uh, when I first got this thing uh, it the core was isolated from the windings by a little piece of paper so I had to take that out and replace it with some Teflon so it can run open circuit without arcing the ground. I had a problem with that. Power control is done using a variac and that it's ballasted by an MOT microwave oven transformer uh, connected in series to the primaries. So the, the core of the transformer is grounded to the case internally and the case is grounded with this wire straight to the ground since uh, you could also ground it to the uh, ground wire of a normal plug but well I'm right on a concrete floor so I don't need to do that this is the cable that's used internally to lead from the transformer to the insulators it's 100 kV rated uh, 100 kV DC rated silicone wire um, It'll take a, it'll take a lot more than that. It's I think it's proofed at 150 kV, but it seems to work pretty good for this application. It is oil safe. It's been in oil for a while and it hasn't deteriorated. And if you're looking for a good insulating oil for a transformer like this, just standard white mineral oil works the best for the for the money. This is Ultra Pro white mineral oil. Uh, I think it was either 15 or 20 dollars a gallon about the cheapest I could find it, and it works fine. 